This is the grade three math practice test for TN Ready. This is question number 22. Evan has two boxes of cookies. The first box has 30 cookies. The second box has 24 cookies. He shares all the cookies equally with six people. How many cookies does Evan give each person? I can't decide from reading this if I think Evan is just nice or he just needs friends, so he's trying to buy them with cookies. I'm cool with whatever, but I'm just saying. So there's two parts to this question. The first part is I need to figure out how many cookies total, right? That's important. And then I need to divide those cookies up for six people. So the combination, combining two things together, that's an addition process. And then when I get down here, shares all cookies equally, that sounds like he's dividing a number. So I'm going to do some addition work here. This is absolutely a calculator allowed section, so if you don't want to do this by hand, you can just do it in the calculator. But I would still write things out just so you don't get lost. The worst is when you start clickety-clickety in the calculator there and you lose where you are and you just have numbers on the screen. That doesn't do anything. The calculator can only work with what you tell it, so if you tell it the wrong thing, it will give you the wrong answer. But it didn't give you the wrong answer. It gave you the right answer to the wrong question. So be careful. doesn't mean you should never use calculators. It just means you should be smart about how you use them. I don't need one here because 4 plus 0 is 4, and 3 plus 2 is 5. So that's my first part. This is total cookies. Now you may notice that through this, I tend to write a bit more than you might write down on your paper, but it's because personally I deal with having issues with paying attention. Like I struggle to not get distracted while stuff goes on. So if I make a note to myself and write down what every number represents, or most of them, once I, you know, see a bird fly by the window and get totally distracted by it, I can come back and still be in a place where I can work. So now that I've gone off on that, because I wrote total cookies, I can remember that the total amount is 54, and I, that was my adding part, so check. Now I need to do a division part, which when my brain was focused, I reminded myself to do. So I want to do 54 divided by 6. So multiple ways that you can do this. One of them is just to know your division facts, which is good. And 54 divided by 6 is, of course, 9. So I'm going to circle in that 9 here. And I'm also, if this is my work page and not my answer sheet, I'm going to put the letter D right there. So when I carry it over to the answer sheet, I don't make a little mistake. That would be sort of annoying to me. Also, like I said, there this is a calculator allowed section. So we could use a calculator to help us. If I can get it to move over here. It doesn't want to move. There it is. It's not a great calculator, but it's, it'll work. So in my addition part, I want to do 30 plus 24, and I have 54. So I would write 54 on my paper, and I would mark out what that is. And then for the other one, I would do my division. And for this calculator, I don't have to do anything other than put divide by 6 and get my 9 right there. So if you use a calculator, that's totally great. If you're not using your calculator, that's also fine. Just make sure that you make little notes to yourself on the page so you can follow along in case you get distracted.